Okay, super, or not super quick, but pretty quick, easy, like, automatic potato, infinite potato, carrot farm thing with the turtles. So you're just going to want uh, one block of dirt and then a uh, water source, or just to, anything to really fertilize it. Ender chest behind it, ender chest on the right of it, and then a normal chest on the left. And then what you're going to want to do is just use a hole in the ground so you have something to plant on. You're going to want to go into the turtle and then type in label, set, and then whatever you want to set the label to. This is just so whenever you break it, you don't lose all the programs and everything inside it. Then you want to put all your potatoes and all your bone meal in the first two slots in that same order. Then fill up all these same slots that I did with whatever block. Okay. So now this is oh yeah you're gonna do edit start. It doesn't need to be called start. You can name the program whatever you want. Farm potato whatever. It's just every time you want to start the program up, you're gonna have to type in whatever it's called. So edit start. And this is all programming. So I'm just going to mute my mic in, time lapse this, and then post the code in the description for you guys to copy when it's done. Okay, once you have finished entering all the code, you want to hit end, control, and then hit enter on save to save it, control, exit, blah, blah, blah. And then that's going to save the program. You're going to want to go into the chest to the left, and that's where you're going to put your bone meal. I'm just assuming that you guys have like a tier 5 skelly spawner or something just to get a crap ton of bone meal, because you're going to need it if you want it to be automated. And so right now I'm just getting a bunch. Put it all in the chest. Um, yeah, I forgot to get potatoes. So under chest to the right, you're gonna want to fill. Whoops. Oh, I have to change the frequency because other chest got messed up. Okay. So if you have other under chest, just make sure that the frequencies and colors are different for that. Inside that chest, you're gonna want to fill that with um your potatoes. This is also going to be the chest that it's dumping it into, and then the turtle's going to spin around to pick up more potatoes so that it never runs out, but it's still making them. So you could just do two normal chests right there, and then do like a wooden transport pipe, but under chests are easier. So now let me just run it, make sure it works. Uh, oh no, that's wrong. That's really wrong. Okay, let me fix that quick. Okay, now that that's fixed, I just have him turning left instead of right, that's whatever. Um, so now that he's spinning the right way, let me just rearrange his chest quick. Um, that's good, a turtle's inventory. Okay, let's run the program, plants it, breaks it, grabs more bone meal, drops off the potatoes, and then sleeps for 10 seconds, or just waits for 10 seconds before he runs the loop again. And then plants, picks up more bone meal, drops, up, picks up more potatoes, then drops off the extra potatoes, and that's it. It's just built an automatic potato farm with the turtle thing. <laughs> okay, but yeah, um, that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, I guess just comment. Um, yeah, if you liked it, like the video, subscribe, do whatever. Uh, I don't really know what else to do with turtles besides these little farms, so if you guys can think of anything, just tell me. And yeah.